Good ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Hello. My name is Serge Haritonov. I'm going to be the moderator of the today's event. As you may know, from April 25th to June 26, 1945, San Francisco hosted the United Nations Conference, one international organization, one of the most historic events of the last century. The conference was attended by delegations from 50 countries representing over 80% of the world's population, as well as over 3,000 journalists and representatives of various organizations. The countries learned how to cooperate with one another. The Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic delegation, headed by Kuzma Kisarov, People's Commission for Foreign Affairs, took an active part in the committees of the conference. And today, the person who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Belarus is with us. This is another minister, but we hope that Belarus like back then, uh, like today, takes all measures in order to follow the principles that were laid down back in 1945, to follow these principles. And I would like to pass the floor to His Excellency, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Belarus. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, distinguished colleagues, dear friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome you today on the UN Charter Signing Day at this remarkable place in the Loshitsa. I hope this event is inextricably linked to the UN activities in Belarus. I hope this event will start gradually resuming international activities and live communications uh, that we have been deprived uh, of for so long and that we need so much. The reason why we are here today is really important. 75 years ago, the San Francisco Conference delegates signed the basic international treaty, the United Nations Charter, thanks to their strong will, dedication and overwhelming desire to build a system of stable and predictable international relations. The Uncharta is a kind of a cookbook or book of useful advices that includes recipes for any occasion, guidelines to be followed by modern diplomats and statespeople when planning and shaping the foreign policy of their country. I wish the fundamental principles enshrined in the Charter were more than just beautiful words on paper, the correctness of which no one can challenge. They must have practical value and be the cornerstone of international cooperation. Belarus has paid a terrible price for the lessons that are reflected in the UN Charter. Therefore, strict observance of these principles is extremely important for us. Only through their full and faithful implementation, we will be able to ensure peaceful coexistence of countries, nations and peoples, achieve economic and social progress and sustainable development. Unfortunately, the modern world has not yet become what the San Francisco Conference delegates imagined it to be. Sometimes it seems that the lessons of World War II have been forgotten and its consequences have been revised. Just as the causes and purposes of establishing the UN have been forgotten, so have the basic clauses of the organization's charter. And perhaps now is the time to think about the really important things that turn out to be the simplest, peace, security, trust and cooperation. They are the pillars of the UN Charter and it is our duty to live up to the hopes and aspirations of its founders. It is only through collective will, solidarity and support that a just, safe and sustainable world can be built in the well-being of all can be achieved. Multilateralism is not an opportunity but a necessity, and it is in each country's national interest. Therefore, I hope that on the centenary of the UN, our descendants will have an occasion to be proud of the achievements of our organization and the contribution of each country to strengthening its role and authority. The UN Charter has been translated into almost every language of the world which underlines its importance for every country, every nation. 
realizing the immeasurable value of the Belarusian language, we are working on ensuring its continuity and an interruptible transmission from generation to generation. Therefore, I'm very pleased that now the charter will sound in our melodic mother tongue. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude to the UN country office in Belarus and personally to the UN resident coordinator for the contribution and huge efforts in organizing this ceremony. I welcome the participation of the heads of the diplomatic missions of the UK, China, Russia, USA and France in our meeting. I would like to thank the management of the Loschitzer State Museum for providing the site and for engagement in organizing the event. This wonderful spot has already become a traditional venue for our meetings. I wish all those present very every success and good health. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency Minister. Today, in addition to diplomats and the people from the National Library of Belarus, we also have the journalists. We have many of them. They do their job. They do the job daily. And this work is very important to each one of us. And today we could hear the words of solidarity which is also important for every one of us. During the San Francisco San Francisco, there were 3,000 journalists. Today we have less than that number of them here, but uh, this is because of uh, what is going on in the country, in the international relations of Belarus, and uh, we would like to appreciate their efforts too. During the San Francisco conference, uh, they work hard on creating the UN Charter. And today this document works good or less. Still, uh, we in the United Nations and the Belarusian MFA do their best for this document to be really working. I would like to pass the floor for the welcome address to Her Excellency Joanna Kazanovishnivia. UN resident coordinator in Belarus. Доброе утро, уважаемый уважаемый господар министр замежных справ Владимир Владимирович Матей, уважаемый господар генеральный директор национальной библиотеки Роман Степанович Матойский, уважаемый господар директор музея истории Минска Галина Петровна Владисова, ваше превосходительство, уважаемые представители дипломатического корпуса, мои коллеги и сотрудники организации Объединенных Наций, уважаемые участники нашей трансляции в YouTube. I'm ordered uh, to welcome you at the UN Nations, uh, United Nations Charter Day event. It is my great pleasure to present to the people of Belarus this wonderful edition, which was published in your country for the first time in the Belarusian language. Я хотел бы поддякать Министерство замежных справ Беларуси и министра замежных справ, а так само. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Belarus and the Museum of Loschitzka Estate for cooperation. Я хотел бы поддякать Министерство замежных справ Беларуси и Лошадской Сади за сопротивление организации сегодняшнего мероприятия. Мы состыкаемся в вельми особливом месте. Я выбрал, что мы ведаете в этом доме в 47-м году. Борцова первый офис АН, Менскую коллегу администрации АН, пока за до помощи и реабилитации, пошла до помогать Советскому Союзу после окончания войны. До подписания статута АН делегаты из 50 стран света состоялись в Сан-Франциско и працевали два месяца, деля взгоднения питания членства структуры и процедур АН, которые были выкладены в этом документе. Сегодня, today, we recall those Belarusian diplomats and the official delegation headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Kuzma Kuselov, who have made a significant contribution in the work of the San Francisco Conference. И хотя было тяжко узгоднить все детали при принятии решения Совета Безопасности, у той части делегаты были изгортованы в околе основные меты АН и твердо отстоивали агульную систему каштовностей и бачение свету на основе принципов и свобод, которые треба поважать. 
Сегодня про 75 год после створения АН, когда свет переживает серьезные природные, политические, социальные, экономические разрушения. Эти универсальные парады застаются нашим компасом. Только про многобаковый подход и сопротивление мы сможем одолеть шмат аспектные выклики, с которыми сотыкнулся свет. Добрый пример такого выклика – глобальная пандемия COVID-19. Еще один – смена климата. Конфликт превенция. Страглинг for fundamental human rights. Equality between men and, men and women. Economic and social progress in larger freedom. All these closely interlinked human priorities and aspirations in the UN Charter remain relevant. One cannot be achieved without the other. In particular, social progress cannot be achieved without respecting human rights, real equality, freedom, and diversity of thought and opinion. We hear the call to respect these universal values around the world and in Belarus. We hear the call of the planet, which desperately needs our attention. Представляючи сьогодні статут АН на білоруській мові з гісторичними фото і документами конференції Сан-Франциско, ми так само послухаємо, як студенти читають глави статута. Я впевнена, что каждый зауважит, что бачение и каштовность Организации Объединенных Наций актуальны, как никогда ранее. У 75-й годовины Организации Объединенных Наций мы рады махчимости непосредственно взаимодействовать с людьми, как поговорить о будущем. За последние несколько месяцев с помощью Белорусского Державного Педагогического Университета имя Максима Танка и Ассоциации Эдукации для Устойчивого Развития все структуры АН, которые работают в Беларуси, залучили сотни студентов и наставников всех региональных центров Беларуси у Zoom встречи региональной дискуссии в университетах по теме будущего, которую мы хотим. Дискуссии на Zoom и результаты of the UN 75 онлайн сервей, filled by almost 2000 белорусов, have shown that it is personally important to everyone, better health, education, work and environment conservation to have a better future with more equal opportunities for all. Это просто и зрозумелые приоритеты продолжат накировать нас у Организации Объединенных Наций и, соответственно, нашим каштовностям и мандатам у той час, когда мы даем слово и выступаем у поддержку и от имя тех, кто застался в Баку. Працуем разом с белорусским народом и нашими партнерами в Ауради, как да помогчи им разом досягнуть их метал. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much, distinguished uh, resident coordinator. The Lhotse Park and the Lhotse State Museum are important, memorable places, both for the UN and the Republic of Belarus. The country office of the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration, UNRWA, was located here in 1946 and 47. This institution helped Belarus to recover from war. There were no people left behind. This is the main principle of the UN, leaving no one behind. And the war left no one behind. And in our country, if you ask anybody, or if you ask those people present here, whether you had people who were in the war, 
who had some vic uh, victims in their families, raise your hands, please. We can see the whole room here. The war is bringing pain and deaths, and we wouldn't like this to be in our lives. Sometimes it happens, and sometimes it is easier to start a war rather than to finish it. Therefore, uh, the mutual assistance and uh, support is so important. There were lots of wars uh, coming uh, and going to Belarus from different directions. I would like to pass the floor to Galina Ladisova, director of the Minsk City History Museum. Distinguished Excellencies, Minister, guests, you know, today we celebrate an event of the UN Charter Day in a historical place here in the Loshetse State. For many centuries, the history of our motherland was written, and one of the special pages of this history is the activity of the first United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration, which was based in this Loshatsa estate in 1946-47. You know, we are proud of having our institution that is part of this very significant and milestone event as publishing the first uh, edition of the UN Charter in Belarusian language. And this celebration happens here. Displaying this uh, instrument, this statute, this charter, is another attempt to say to uh, the public and our visitors, to all people again, about the high-level goals of this organization, to pay attention of every person to the fact that peace in this world depends on every one of us, on how we will protect this peace and how we understand real human values. I would like to express the words of thanks again to all you present here. And I believe our cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as well as with the UN country office in the Republic of Belarus, will continue and uh, will be very active and significant. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Ladisova. For over 90 years, the National Library of Belarus has been an important information resource with a library stock of about 10 million items. Uh, this national repository keeps more than 90,000 rare and old printed books uh, and manuscripts uh, in Belarusian, English, Chinese, French, and uh, in American, probably, American uh, language. Do you have any uh, American language books? <laughs> but not all of you know that starting from 1957, the National Library is also the UN Depository Library. Therefore, I am passing the floor to Professor Roman Matulski, Director General of the National Library of Belarus. The floor is yours. Good morning, distinguished excellencies, friends, colleagues. Uh, it is a great pleasure that the National Library has been involved uh, in uh, fulfilling this high-level mission of the United Nations Organization. From the very first days after we recovered our activities, uh, after the end of uh, World War II, the library started 
collecting the UN instruments and documents, and we became the UN Depository Library. Today we have materials, not only by the UN, the General Assembly, but uh, also by the list of numerous international institutions like uh, UNESCO, uh, WHO, IAEA, Security Council, UNIDO, and many others. Today we have over 200,000 uh, items. This is one of the fullest UN depositories uh, in the world. And the paramount thing, we are collecting these materials, not only just to have a good collection and to share it with the following generations. No, this is to be used actively by our current visitors. I would like to say that uh, in 2019, 20,000 our visitors studied the original documents by the UN. First of all, our young people, our university students, and I'm convinced that the knowledge they got will be used for meeting the purposes and goals of the UN and its agencies, and they will do it to the benefit of our homeland Belarus, because we are a reputable member of this community. Happy holiday. Please stay with us for a minute. I would like uh, to invite uh, His Excellency uh, Minister and Her Excellency Jana Kazanovishnevetsky, Resident Coordinator of the UN, to have an honorary uh, handing over of the Belarusian edition of the UN Charter, which has been published for the first time in the Belarusian language since 1945. The ceremony of signing the UN Charter was started in the morning of June 26, 1945. The signing took place at a large round table at the Hall of the House of Veterans, where the flags of 50 United Nations member states were placed in a semicircle. The British delegates, led by Halifax and Cranbourne, signed the UN Charter on behalf of the United Kingdom. The flow goes to Her Excellency Jacqueline Perkins. Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Belarus. Good morning, all of you. I am very thankful to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Mackay, and the UN Resident Coordinator for inviting me to have the floor on this, at the 75th anniversary of the UN Charter in this beautiful environment. The UN can be truly proud of its achievements for uh, the 75 years of its operations in the field of security and uh, security. UN has developed the concept of international peacekeeping operations, established the norms of international um, rule um, on a number of issues, including uh, weapons, chemical weapons, and others. The UN underpinned various climate agreements. Thanks to the Millennium Goals and the Sustainable Development Goals, we established the platform for economic and social development of the entire humankind. Through its agencies, the organization keeps supporting millions of men, women, and children who suffer from poverty, hunger, war, and uh, forced displacement. Today, when we celebrate the International Day of Supporting the Victims of Torture, we shall remember that the UN established the Universal Human Rights Principles, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948 is still a fundamental instrument in human rights for the whole world. 
And uh, these are just a few of the numerous achievements of the UN since the moment of its establishment after the global catastrophe was ended, which was World War II. However, the 75th anniversary of the UN shall not be a spotted a celebration of this date and uh, previous achievements. We share the expectations of Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of the UN, who says that the UN 75 campaign shall launch a global dialogue on the future we want and the UN we need. This is the time when the world together with the WHO, struggles with this serious global threat as COVID-19. Today, we need international cooperation to address such issues as climate change, conflicts, cyber crime, terrorism, and inequality. Global threats require global solutions. These threats can be stopped only by an efficient system of multilateral relations and uh, the UN leading it. The UN tries to be a peaceful force in the world, therefore we are going to support our global network in the world to support it in order for the UN to be able to continue uh, addressing our common challenges and uh, to stay in the core of our multilateral relations for at least the next 75 years. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 75 years ago, on the same day, the representatives of China, led by Wellington Ku, the first victim of the Axis powers aggression, had the honor of signing it first. And China was the first one to get the hit. I would like to pass the floor to His Excellency Su Yitzhak, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Belarus. Distinguished uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Belarus, Your Excellencies, Your Excellency Vladimir Vladimirovich Makei, Distinguished Resident Coordinator of the UN to Belarus, Madam Joanna Kazana Vyshnevetsky, Distinguished uh, Director of the Museum. Uh, Loshetska Estate, Madam Ladisova, Distinguished Director General of the National Library of Belarus, Matulski, Distinguished Ambassadors, Colleagues, the Diplomatic Corps, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am very happy to participate in the honorary ceremony devoted to the 75th anniversary of signing the UN Charter. On behalf of uh, the Embassy of the People's Republic of China to uh, the Republic of Belarus, and uh, on my own behalf, I would like to express our warm congratulations on the successful organization of this event. For 75 years, since the moment of signing the UN Charter, the United Nations organization, as the most representative and authoritative intergovernmental international institution, has played an irreplaceable role and achieved tremendous success in fostering human progress. 
Being one of the founding members of the UN and the permanent member of the Security Council, China has always been supporting the purposes and principles of the UN Charter. And uh, through our development, we have always been supporting peace and uh, well-being around the world. At a recent uh, high-level video conference meeting on international cooperation, under the uh, initiative of uh, the second uh, road and second belt, Sun Zhepi, president of China, stressed that China has always been supporting peaceful development, mutual benefits, and that China is ready to, to have cooperation with all partners for a one-way, one belt to become one of the forces that would protect security and safety of people around the world and uh, facilitating social and economic development through economic growth, unleashing the development capacity. China is ready to build a community of the common fate of the humankind through high-quality joint cooperation under the One Way, One Belt initiative. Foreign Minister of Belarus, Markey, participated in this conference and uh, he made a significant uh, contribution offering strengthening cooperation under this initiative of One uh, Way, One Belt. Under smart management of uh, and guidance of the President of Belarus, Lukashenko, Belarus has been actively participating in various uh, dimensions of cooperation of the UN, and Belarus provides a significant contribution to developing peace and prosperity of the world. China appreciates this. We are sure that under the leadership of Alexander Lukashenko, President of Belarus, Belarus will achieve significant progress in public governance and will make a, an even bigger contribution of the world. China is ready, is ready together with the international community, including Belarus, to firmly protect international system, the core of which is the UN, to support and uh, to, to support multilateralism and in, ensuring uh, the well-being of all countries. I would like to wish you all to have a successful event, and thank you very much. On June 26, uh, 1945, the UN Charter was signed at the ceremony at the Veterans' Home in San Francisco by the USSR delegation headed by Andrei Gramyka, Minister of Foreign Affairs of USSR, who was born and raised in Belarus. Now I'm giving the floor to His Excellency Dmitry Mizensov, Ambassador of the Russian Federation to Belarus. The floor is yours. Distinguished Minister of Foreign Affairs, Vladimir Vladimirovich, distinguished resident coordinator of the UN program in Belarus, Madam Vishnevetsky, heads of uh, the diplomatic missions. Uh, dear friends, I believe that we share the vision. Uh, we express the special words of thanks to the organizers, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, the UN country team for this event, for the opportunity to take a look 75 years after. In those old uh, days of 1945, when uh, the, when the wi winner states, when uh, anti-Hitler anti coalition states defined not only the future of the United Nations, but they defined the design of uh, the world after World War II. 75 years is a short timeline, historically speaking, but 
these seven decades had a, a huge universe of various events. Today we are speaking about the importance of the UN Charter, we are speaking about the scale and scope of the global organization, understanding that no matter how acute the contradictions uh, between the countries and regional uh, unions, uh, this is still the most important tool to support dialogue, to leave contradiction and to support global peace. Today, in all messages, we got the narrative uh, of uh, the importance uh, of the Belarusian State, uh, Socialist Soviet Republic played back then uh, and by uh, its uh, Foreign Minister Kuzma. And uh, the history of uh, international diplomacy has a strong record of Belarus and today. UK, US, China, France, and many other countries, no matter uh, how rich their experience is today, but back uh, 75 years ago, they were romantic, they had faith, and they were politically naive, uh, hoping that the world, world would change forever. And of course, today, we are the eyewitnesses of these difficult processes of struggling concepts of those who support the idea of uh, a single polar world. And they contradict those who would like to see a fair world with multiple poles. But no matter how big these disputes are between the representatives of uh, countries, everybody will be wise and smart and uh, uh, bold to compare their actions with uh, those who conquered fascism. I'm convinced that otherwise the world will get closer to the edge of a huge conflict and uh, behind that boundary there will be no optimism and faith into the future. Today we are speaking about the role of the permanent members of uh, the UN member states. We are convinced uh, that the initiative of uh, Vladimir Putin, President of Russia, by the conference of the five nuclear states that would analyze the real situation in the world, that would forecast the, the situation that was solidified dialogue between proposal. And this becomes even more acute in Europe, in Russia, Belarus, uh, we have just celebrated the 75th anniversary of the victory in uh, the Great Patriotic War, World War II. We were uh, thankful for being invited uh, to the uh, victory parade uh, on May the 9th, uh, 9th uh, this year in Minsk. And, uh, the, uh, uh, and uh, also over 13,000 military and navy were uh, at the uh, victory parade on the 24th of June in Moscow, but uh, this was the parade for the veterans and we appreciated them for their bravery. And we are at a formal event. We, we are sharing the views of our colleagues, of our nations, and uh, today, when we analyze uh, the role of the United Nations, uh, the role of this unique instrument, large-scale instrument signed 75 years ago, we have a right to say something from ourselves, from our souls. I am convinced that all of our deeds that we show to the world shall be aligned harmonized and assessed uh, through the prism of uh, morale, soul purity and heroism of uh, a few veterans that are still alive with us uh, who live in uh, Belarus and Russia, in the CIS countries and Europe and on the American continent, in the territory of uh, China and dozens of other countries who still remember unity of nations, they still remember the meeting on the Elbe River who signed the capitulation 
uh, agreement uh, on Karl Holst uh, uh, on May 8th, uh, 1945, when in one room the flags of the Soviet Union, UK, USA were placed, as well as the flag of France, and they were equal. Today, when my uh, colleague, His Excellency Sun Zemin, Ambassador of China, was given the floor, it was said that China was one of the first to suffer from the pressure and the war when they were fighting the aggression. We also remember these victims. We remember dozens of millions of Chinese citizens who died fighting for their freedom. And we shall not and may not forget those who are not with us, the Americans, the French, the Brits, uh, the Belarusians, Ukrainians, Russians, the representatives of all uh, people of the, com of the uh, Commonwealth, people from Eastern and Western Europe, those who were fighting fascism, which means that they designed the current world. I'm convinced that we will have uh, bravery and uh, will be wise to relieve uh, this pressure on the Belarusian soil to understand each other better because the, the price we'll pay for the absence of this dialogue will be very high. And uh, sometimes we have to, to take our laptops aside and uh, look back into 1945 and then into the future. And uh, speaking, addressing the ambassador of the UK to Belarus, you said that uh, the world uh, uh, that, that peace that we have from 1945 uh, to continue for uh, 75 years ahead, and I would like to say that it should be for 750 years more. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency Ambassador. In addition to other countries, France also signed uh, the UN Charter. France is the member, is a permanent member of the Security Council of the UN. And some time ago it, it shared the, the fate of Belarus, it was occupied. Other countries who became the uh, Security Council members, they were not fully occupied. I would like to pass the floor to His Excellency Didier Canis, Ambassador of the French Republic to Belarus. Distinguished uh, Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, ambassadors, distinguished uh, UN resident coordinator, ladies and gentlemen. For me, it's a great honor to, ad to be addressing you to celebrate the anniversary of signing the UN Charter. 75 years ago, at the uh, ruins of the world, the nations uh, who gathered uh, at the San Francisco conference started building a new system of cooperation between countries. They were not speaking about creating a new framework to the international relations just to prevent wars. But they were also prioritizing the idea of the importance of a human being, dignity and rights. Signing of the UN Charter on June the 26th, 1945, was the birth of a new world order based on law, right and opportunities. Future generations were protected from wars and the purpose was to promote uh, universal human rights, to progress international justice. And 50 countries who signed uh, this charter back then laid the foundation of international cooperation in order to support international security and to develop friendly relations between nations to foster development of a human potential. The purposes and goals declared by the UN Charter 75 years ago, oh, uh, that were adopted 75 years ago, are still valid and relevant. This is the compass to guide uh, the 
nations of the world where conflicts and threats and uh, uncertainties threaten our world. Being the permanent member of the Security Council of the UN France is uh, committed to protecting the rights, freedoms and uh, multilateralism. We are fully convinced that cooperation between nations is the only possible way to conquer joint challenges to protect peace and to ensure international security. Unfortunately, in some regions of the world, the UN achievements are doubted. I mean, there are so many military conflicts and uh, they continue bleeding our planet. I'm also speaking about the violation of human rights and uh, main freedoms. Therefore, 75 years after signing the UN Charter, we shall continue our efforts and we shall demonstrate the political will in order for the honorary goals set by the member states that came to San Francisco conference to be fully implemented. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. In his day, President Roosevelt said the structure of world peace cannot be the work of one man or one nation. It cannot be a peace of large nations or small nations. Um, she, he was escorted by another woman, but we don't have her with us, but we have another woman from the States, and we would like to uh, ask um, uh, Her Excellency Jennifer Mu, U.S. Charge Affairs in Belarus, to take the floor. Thank you. Hello. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, уважаные гости с подарства, это выдатная махчимость рассказать про то, что было 75 лет тому и про то, что будет в будущем. У этот день, 75 лет тому, у Сан-Франциско народу света объединились, как подписать статут, якому было наконовано пройти выпробование часом. Беспрецедентные охвяры и разбурения двух сусветных войн удали шторшок этим краинам до створения Организации Объединенных Наций как форма для мирного урегулирования конфликтов и просовывания огульных идеалов, что назавсёды изменило сусветную дипломатию. Мы прознаем неизменную важность статута, поскольку он побудован на нашей веру в основные свободы и правы человека, годность и вартость каждой особы и ровные правы для всех. Мы гонаримся тем, что отыграли основотворную роль в нарождении этого института и подтримливаем его базовые каштовности. Мы снова подтверждаем свою прохильность захованию основных принципов статута. Злученные Штаты – лидер, партнер и краина, где находится штаб Катара Организации Объединенных Наций. И мы твердо отданы этим принципам. Подтверждающие свою прохильность захованию статута АН, мы натировываем важный сигнал всему свету, что мы подтримливаем ту же веру правы человека и человечную ровность, и как и ты, кто подписал статут в 1945 году, и что мы будем протягивать деятельность на основе этой веры с надеей принести больше мощный мир и безопасность всем людям. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mu. UN Secretary General, in his address, mentioned that uh, the UN Charter was signed 75 years ago, but the principles of it are still relevant. And he has also mentioned the role of the youth in this process. And the UN would like to show you a small video in which his Excellency Marquis and the students of the Belarusian State University and the Belarusian State Pedagogical University read the preamble of the UN Charter. I believe that we'll be able to see this video on the screen. We, the peoples of the United Nations, are determined and to reaffirm faith in fundamental human rights and the dignity and worth of the human person in the equal rights of men and women and of nations, large and small.
and to establish conditions under which justice and respect for the obligations arising from treaties and other sources to be maintained and to promote social progress and better standards of life in larger freedom. And for these ends to practice tolerance and live together in peace with one another as good neighbors uh, to unite our strengths to maintain international peace and security. And to ensure by the acceptance of the principles and the institution of methods uh, that armed force shall not be used to save in the common interest. To employ international machinery for the promotion of the economic and social advancement of all peoples uh, have resolved to combine our efforts. Accordingly, our respective uh, governments, through representatives uh, assembled in the city of San Francisco, uh, to have ex uh, exhibited their full powers, and they have agreed to present the Charter of the United Nations and uh, do hereby establish an international organization to be known as the United Nations. In addition to that, the UN country office prepared a little online concert, Troitsa Navi Band, and at the and Yaroslav Sakolik, who was at the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, so uh, they will be in the videos. You can watch these videos uh, being seated, or you can, since it is getting hot, you can go into the shadow and have a chat and uh, to get your answers to the questions that you have many and you have things to discuss. Thank you. Свет – это свобода, и весь этот свет смещается тут, в моих луках. Свет, який плеба пила дать людям. Мы хотим вылетовать будущее поколение от бедства войны. Хочем, как пановала узаемная повага и справедливость. Хочем, как у всех краины жили мило, как добрые соседи. Мы, белорусы, разом с другими краинами стволили 75 годов тому Ан. Наши батьки, бабули, дедули обятяли что наше небо будет милым. Так будет, покуль иснует эта книга. Уявите будущее. Конфликта отбывается все меньше. Поляпшается новокольное сервотие. Расти ровность внутри краин и становится все больше устойливыми с поживанием и вытворчестью. Полепшается парадок международной миграции, досягается ровность помеж мужчинами и женщинами. Лепш живется утекачам, людям с инвалидностью, да и пожилым людям. Краины и народы становятся добрейшими один до одного. А лишь мат будет залежать от нас. Oh, 
Русалки щадели, на деба глядели руной. Ранянько на деба Бравушка, дубровушка зеленая, зеленая, шабовой рана, чаго раной зашумела, зашумела. Как же мне, ну как же мне не шуметь и не шуметь и буян ветер, буян ветер завивает, завивает, дробен дождь, дробен дождь, как на крапае на Ну 
Русская жалюная, жалюная. Книга допоможе нам зробити тисячі добрих справ. Ми віримо, що змінення клімату і екологічні проблеми – це поправно. Ми віримо, що у молодих людей буде більше можливостей. А коли кожен прикладе висілок, ми зможемо зберегти нашу планету. Ми віримо, що білоруську вьозку можна виратувати. Мы верим, что здоровье людей и планеты одужает. Не сказать, угледить. 
просить В твоих очах анёла Углядеть и никому не отдать На перепынку ты мне подкажешь Коли поставить все по чути на полтор Не переблытай, ты лепшим станешь Как наши травы тороплялись У одно на перепынку ты мне подкажешь Коли поставить все по чути на полтор Не переблытай ты лепшим станешь, как наши травы тороплялись, а? как наши травы тороплялись, а? у одна. Я хотел бы выполнить все, про что написано в этой книге нашими протками. У добрых руках я на соправдное богатье. Я верю, что, дякуючи ей, будет поляпшаться доступ до медицинской до помощи эдукации. Будет расти повага до правов человека. Я верю, что эта книга да поможет не допустить, как детинство любого дитяти с любой краины было складано. Я верю, что яна да поможет людям. А мы, молодые люди, сделаем все, как побудовать судовню будущую разум. На землю сыпли зорманисты. Я зловлю тебе, зловлю, конь мой наровисты. Про спалетки и лясы, про злуги поляны. Ты неси, меня не неси, конь не зацугляны. Ты неси, меня не неси. Кони зацугляны, а зернуся ля села полячу до ганка, где чаромха расцвела, где живе каханка, до расплетиной косы и до губ румяных. Ты неси, меня не неси, кони зацугляны, ты неси. Мя не неси, конь не зацугляны. Ты неси, мя не неси, конь не зацугляны. Ты неси, мя не неси, конь не зацугляны. Быть счастливым так просто, коли нема ниаких пилашкодов. Коли есть полозумение и довел, коли сяба можа, Протягнуть руку до помоги. Плоданы часть. Миновито в этом простом. Лечем учить книга. Какая теперь у мне по запрещнику? Я на повинна быть на своем месте. Где кожный ломозянин нашей краины або гость сможу взять я е у луки, как твалить добло и побудовать будущему. Какую мы хочем, 